Have you decoded your image of God for the week? What image of God are we talking about this week? If you haven't yet, go get your decoder and match the symbols to the letters to find out what image of God we're talking about this week. You can pause the video now and go do that. But if you've already done that, then you know this week we are talking about how God is our friend. You can tell everything to a friend. You can also be silent around a friend and simply feel comfortable. A friend finds the words to comfort you when you are sad and laughs with you when you are happy. A friend listens, encourages, and understands. God is like this, like the best of friends. Who's your best friend? Who do you love spending time with that you feel comfortable with, that you can tell everything to? Is God your friend too? Since God wants to be our friend, it's important that we spend time talking with God and telling God the things that we're frightened of, the things that we are thankful for, the things that make us laugh. God wants to know all of that. But sometimes it can be hard to know how to talk to God and what to say. So I encourage you or invite you to find a quiet spot, maybe outside somewhere in the beautiful outdoors or um, maybe in a quiet spot in your house in a cozy chair. But find a quiet spot sometime today. And then I want you to look at your hand. Have you ever looked at your hand before? Studied your hand? Hands are pretty neat things because we have these fingers that allow us to do all kinds of things. We can pick up objects, we can throw balls, we can make music and sounds with our hands. But did you know we could also use our hands to talk to God? So something that you can do is you can use your fingers and you can do or say a hand prayer. And so what you can do is you can take each finger and you can name one thing or even one person that you want to pray for. So you could say, with my thumb, I'm going to pray for someone who is sick. You can think about that person and tell God that you wanna pray for that person. And then with your pointer finger, you can pray for someone in your family, a family friend or your mom or your dad or maybe your grandmother or your grandfather or cousin. But you can name that person and pray to God and ask God to be with them and to help them. And then your tall finger, your middle finger, you can pray for someone um, who is a leader, maybe someone who is leading our country or leading the world or leading the church. But you can pray for someone and tell God to be with that person. And then with your ring finger, you can pray for someone who teaches you about God. You could pray for your Sunday school teachers or you could pray for Pastor William, Pastor Sharon, somebody at your church. Ask God to be with them and to help them. And then finally, with your pinky finger, you can ask God to pray for you, for your fears, for things that you're concerned about, but you can ask God. And so wherever you go, Anytime you talk to God, if you feel like you don't know what to say, you can look at your hand 
and name five things. In your envelope, you will find a worksheet that says Hands of Prayer. And 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, Pray without ceasing, because God wants us to talk to God all the time, not just at night, and not just in the mornings, and not just at dinner time, but all the time. And an easy way to do that is when we look at our hands to name prayer. So you can take this worksheet sometime today and sit in your quiet place and you can color it you can color the heart and the hand and as you do that it tells you the different people that you can pray for and you can write their names on the fingers and then you can put it by your bed or hang it up on your wall or put it on your refrigerator and you can remember this week to pray for those different people that you named today So I hope you'll take time and listen for God and talk to God today.